So that's her, and this is a little guide to show you how to make money. What you do is, you're going to go around stores around RuneScape, buying items, and then you're going to sell them on the G. And these are the list of items you're going to buy. Some of them are free. Um, battle staffs, you can buy different amounts depending on what level of Varrock Diary you've done, or Varrock Tasks, sorry. I'll put that info in the description. Um, this is the order I'm going to do the stores in, and the requirements for each. Um, never mind, we're going to save some. So, here's the items you're going to need. I'm not going to get them out until I've visited the first store, which is in the wilderness, so that I don't lose anything. However, I'm going to get my glory out first. And then I'm going to tell you to Edgeville. Then I'm going to use the teleport lever around here by the use. It goes to the same place as the one in Ardugna, if you're familiar with that one. I'm um, going to slash through this web. I don't need a knife because I've already got um, a knife on my tool belt. I've got 2 million GP in my money pouch, so hopefully when I sell all my items, you should be able to tell how much profit I've made. So now I'm safe. This is a safe area. You can't be BK'd in here. Now I'm going to get all my items out of here. And then I'm going to start buying water runes, fire runes, earth runes and death runes from this store here. I'm going to tell you to the Cabbage Patch south of Falador and run to the store in Porter Room. Then I'm just going to run towards the dock and take a ship to avoid Knight's Outpost by clicking on the square. Not sure I've already said this, but it takes a whole 24 hours for this dock to replenish. Once you once you buy all the runes out of a store, it's going to take 24 hours for them to come back. So now I'm telling to Ape Toll, don't forget to put on your Grigri. And you need a recipe disaster mini quest, f eh, sub quest to tell it here using the spell. And you need to be known for that. Otherwise you can use the fairy ring on the agility course to get here if you've done fairy tale part 3. Now I'm going to take a dueling ring to the dueling arena. And this door requires the rogue trader mini quest. It's quite a long conversation with the NPC to get to the runes. I just have to speed this video up to fit it on YouTube, plus nobody wants to watch a really long video. So I've just finished buying those and I've teleported here, used Watchtower Teleport. And this guy Bert, he gives me 82 buckets of sand I think, per day, If you and he delivers it to your bank if you've done t the t hands in the sand quest. He gives you 120 if you've done um, a dog and a diary at least. So there's magic girl that should come inside. Um, you need 66 magic to get in here. And this is Naf. Um, you can't actually buy staffs from him at the moment without taking money out of pouch, out of the money pouch. So that's what's in here. And you can buy different amounts depending on how far you got through the Eric diary. I think it's 8 if you haven't done any, 16 with easy, 32 with medium, 64 with hard, and 80 with elite. So, there's another store. 
I'm just teleporting here with the Wicked Hood to the Astral Altar. I'm going to withdraw all the free essence from the Astral Altar that you can get once per day and craft it into Astral Runes. You can get the Wicked Hood from it's just to the right to the east of Varrock Square like outside the smithing store basically and you get it for free and I definitely recommend getting it helps out a lot with the tellies so then you're gonna walk to this chicken house shop place don't forget your seal of passage when you come here because otherwise you can't talk to the NPCs and you get thrown off the island so buy all the runes from here and this lady also sells some battle sta staffs and then we're just gonna go to the GE I'm doing this this is just the way I do it, you can get the G whatever you like and I'm going to sell all the maroons and then I've got one store left which is just in the low level wieldy so once I finish selling these I'm going to run there I do actually forget to sell the buckets of sand which are in my bank which Bert put there for me yeah so I forgot to sell them when I was making this video so I'm just going to run to him now There's some skeletons here which can be quite annoying if you are trading the NPC and they attack you. They can interrupt you. And I don't want to die here, so I'm just going to run quickly. Any money that's in your money pouch whilst you're in the wildy is safe, but the runes aren't. That's why I'm running out quite quick. So I finished selling everything here. Once it sold everything and sold the rune, sold a bucket of sand from a bank, the profit was. 538k I think in just over 14 minutes so I hope, hope this helped you with an idea of how to make money so great thanks for watching